Oh, once again, welcome to our channel, Physics Calculation Center, um, where we look at uh, past and present questions. Uh, today, we will be moving on on area and cubic instantivity, but today we are going to be employing those formulas in calculation uh, for updates and uh, periodic notifications. Please press the notification bell and subscribe to our channel so that I can keep giving you regular update. Thank you. Now, a solid metal cube of size 10 cm is heated from 10 degrees centigrade to 60 degrees centigrade. If the linear expansivity of the metal is this, calculate the increase in volume. You know, we know in linear expansivity there's nothing like volume. But once metals are once you are asked to calculate linear expansivity and you are asked to calculate volume, you should know volume has to do with cubic expansivity. You should know that. So the first thing we are going to be doing is to write the parameters down. Okay, after we write the parameters, what do I have? I have a metal cube. We know a metal cube. So which means this metal cube has solution. Okay, this is a metal cube. So the metal cube, metal cube as 10 centimeter side. To get this volume, you do L times B times H, which will give you 10 times 10 times 10, which will give you 1000 cm cube. So that's the volume. That's V1. Okay, good. We have the initial temperature to be 10 degrees centigrade. We have the final temperature to be 60 degrees centigrade. Now, it says if the linear expansivity, you are given linear, 1.2 times 10 to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. Okay. Mind you, it's a, it's a past question. Why can I have 3? Why can I have 3? Now, um, it says volume. It says increase in volume. Beautiful. Increase in volume. So, increase in volume. That's what we're looking for. Now, we cannot find volume anywhere else in cubic. So, what we'll do is that since you know that cubic is 3 times expansivity, expansivity linear expansivity. So this will automatically become 3 times 1.2 times 10 to the power minus 5. Okay. Okay, beautiful. So having, having done that, we have 3.6, so this one gives us 3.6 times 10 to the power minus 5. Okay, minus 5 per Kelvin. So that is our cubic expansivity. Beautiful. Now, from the formula, cubic is increase in volume over initial volume, theta 2 minus theta 1. Okay. We know the cubic now to be 3.5 times 10 to the power minus 5. Okay. We don't know the increase in volume, but we know the first volume which we have brought out, which is 1000. 1000. Initial temperature 10, final 60. Oh, beautiful. So from here we can do 3.65 times 10 to the power minus 5 equals increase in volume 1000 times 50. So increase in volume will obviously become 50,000 times 3.6 times 10 to the power minus 5. Okay. Okay. So that would be, so when you multiply this together, the increase in volume would be 3.6 times 10 to the power minus 5. Okay, so when you do this, it's going to give us 1.8 centimeter cube. So the increase in volume, it says calculate the increase in its volume. The increase in its volume is 1.8 cm cube. Okay, that is solution one. Okay, let's do solution two quickly. Let's draw the line so that we don't get it get it twisted. Solution 2. Solution 2 says a piece of brass of mass 170 kg has its temperature raised from 0 to 30 degrees centigrade. Calculate its volume given the density of brass at. Now, when they ask you to calculate the volume of a, a material at 0, that is initial. Is that okay? At 0, that's initial. So a piece of brass, let's, let's put the parameters first. The mass of the mass is 170 kg. Okay? 170 kilogram. Its temperature is raised. So theta 1 is 0. 
theta 2 is um, 30 degrees centigrade. Okay, beautiful. Calculate the volume given the density of brass at zero. Okay? So to get density, so density is um, 8.5 times 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube. Okay? And they give us cubic expansivity. So we are given cubic expansivity. Cubic expansivity is 5.7 times 10 to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. Okay, beautiful. Okay, but mind you, we have the mass of material and we have the density. So from here, you can calculate the volume, the first volume. So density is mass over volume. Okay, so we have density to be 8.5 times 10 to the power 3 equals mass is 170. So from here, we can calculate volume. So volume will be 170 over 8.5 times 10 to the power 3. Okay, so that will be volume. Volume will be 8 will be 170 over that. So volume now will be will now be equals to 0 0.0 0 0.02 meter cube. Okay, so that is the first. So we've gotten our volume using mass over volume. We've gotten our volume using density equals mass over volume. Okay, now what's the question? The question says we should calculate volume given the density of brass at. So we are going to calculate the final, the final volume now. That's what we're doing. So now we're going to calculate, okay? So gamma, which is cubic expansivity, is delta V over V1 theta 2 minus theta 1, which is the same thing as saying delta V, which is equal to gamma. Gamma is given, which is cubic expansivity times 10 minus 5, okay, okay, times the V1 that we got, 0 0.02, then the temperature change, which is 30 minus 0, 30 minus 0, okay. So from here now, our volume, the volume given the density of brass and half, so the volume will now be 3.42 times 10 to the power minus 5 meter cube. Okay, so from here you can see everything is in meters, that's what we're talking about. This is meter, the standard, standard unit kilogram, meters, so everything should be in meters, so don't need to convert anything. So from here you can see, we can see the volume, its volume, given the density, so this is its volume, increased volume, and we calculated the initial volume using mass over volume. Using density was mass of volume. Uh, in our next video, we we'll continue more on this. See you then. Bye.